Well, D-Day was a, obviously the most important single fight of that war. And of course, had we lost it, there's no telling what the outcome would have been. Since the American entry into the war, American generals had been agitating for an opportunity to fight the Germans directly. The D-Day invasion, invasion of Normandy in June 1944, represented the cutting edge of this offensive. The essential condition that underwrote the success of D-Day was the fact that Germany had been bled virtually to death by fighting on the Eastern Front uh, for several years against the Red Army and the Soviet Union before D-Day ever happened. As the Germans had been preparing for this invasion as long as the Americans and the British had been, and they had been digging in, and they knew that they could inflict appalling casualties on the first units ashore. Well, somebody had to do it. And so the soldiers went, and indeed, those first units did suffer very high rates of death and wounding. It's one thing to go on a beach with sand dunes. It's something else when you've got enemy on top of these bluffs. And for some reason, our naval gunnery was either off or something went wrong there. They couldn't destroy those gun emplacements. But eventually, the weight of the invasion took hold. The numbers of Americans, the numbers of craft, allowed the Americans and the British to establish a beachhead. And once they established a beachhead, then they could bring more and more soldiers and equipment ashore. One thing I don't think either the Japanese or the Germans really counted on was what it meant to come up against a massive capitalist industrial power. The ability to build stuff on a massive scale with massive numbers was just something they hadn't really anticipated. If you look back at the old photographs and the footage of that armada out there off the coast, I don't think they've ever assembled before or after anything like that. Eventually, it was the technology, it was the weight of American weapons that tipped the balance. But at the very beginning, it was the soldiers, the ones who splashed ashore, the ones who knew that in the first wave, lots and lots of them would never come back. And those are the ones who made possible everything that followed. The rangers who went in first and the waves that came after them stood right up to it. There was more bravery that day than one can hardly imagine. 